good morning so today i'm going to do like a get ready wow like chatty thing um a few people asked for a makeup tutorial and i'm not like a makeup artist so i didn't really feel comfortable doing a full-on this is what you do thing so just thought i would do like a more casual chatty get ready with me kind of thing obviously i'll tell you what i'm doing but be more chill i've got coffee princess mug obviously so first of all i've done like my skincare i've cleansed toned um i'm just gonna moisturize so i'm using the estee lauder resilience lift scoop it out put it on your face i'm also gonna just take my glasses off i actually then can't see you but um yeah so obviously i'm getting ready to do nothing um but i think you know it's still nice to be putting makeup on doing a little bit of something just to make you feel a bit more like bright cheerful you know um i'm then just taking some lip balm and putting that on because i've got really crusty lips um next i'm just going to take the professional um benefit primer and basically i'm just going to rub that all over my face kind of use like a bit of a patting motion on like my nose area so at the moment my skin is breaking out quite a lot so we've got quite a lot going on over here a lot on here well big one here um I mean, that side of my face is okay, apart from back there. Um, it's just because I am due on my period. So this always happens to my face when I'm due on my period, my, my skin gets so bad. So I'm going to go in with a full on foundation, whereas some days I would just put on like a BB cream and um, tinted moisturiser type thing if my skin was being good. So I'm just going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. So obviously excuse the fact that all of my makeup is filthy. What shade am I in? I think I'm in 30 Sand, which is not the right shade for me at the moment because I'm pasty. I haven't, obviously you can't go out and get anything else and I just can't be asked to fake tan. But yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just pop it on my face and blend it out with this flat top brush. I think it's just a makeup revolution brush. Um, I basically just like, stipple it on first and then kind of blend it um, and that brush definitely needs a clean so I might clean my makeup brushes later I think also my like my eyebrows need doing um god look at the difference it is just because I'm not fake tanned this does normally match me um so I do know it doesn't match don't like go oh, your foundation doesn't match I know Okay, so then I'm gonna just like conceal my under eyes and like that spot a little bit more and these. So I'm using the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline and I would assume, I think it is in the shade 20. I'm not at the point where I needed to go and get more um, makeup, but I can't leave <laughs> the house. So the first thing I do is just swipe that under my eyes um, in like a triangle shape. I'm sure you've seen people do this in a much better way than what I am, but yeah, that is what I first do. And then I just take a beauty blender. So this one is the Real Technique one. Again, it needs a wash. And just um, like pat that out. So I started watching this thing on Netflix last night called Too Hot to Handle or something. And it's basically like Love Island, but on Viagra and it is ridiculous like the people are so horny um and basically at the end of it if they've abstained um is that the right word if they've not had sex or not kissed or not done anything they can win a hundred thousand pound but i think it gets split so i think it's like 10 grand each or something um and they're only in there for a month and they're all like this is so difficult i think jesus i think i'd be fine <laughs> So yeah, that is, um, that's some great mindless TV if you are wanting something to watch. And, oh, concealing that. Um, if you're wanting something to watch, but you don't want to really concentrate and you just want something that's literally going to, like, go... And, I mean, it is quite shocking. I was watching it with my friend. We FaceTime and kind of have, like, the FaceTime here and press play on Netflix at the same time. We both kept looking at the camera like... <laughs> because... I don't know, you have to watch it. Just some of the stuff they were saying was crazy. That's kind of like the foundation concealer bit. And obviously I've got spots, so there's not a lot I'm gonna do about them. I'm just sitting in my house, so I'm not gonna really go heavy on trying to cover them up because they're there. Um, so yeah, and 
everyone gets spots, especially as a woman, your hormones are changing so much over the course of the month. You are gonna get spots, so don't worry about it. Um, I'm then gonna take the NYX Wonder Stick. Again, filthy, but yeah, and it's in medium tan. So I take the dark side of it, which is on here, and put it in my cheekbones, the sort of temple, down my nose, my chin, that kind of thing. And then when you look at crazy, taking the thing and going back over it. So I quite enjoy doing my makeup. I find it quite therapeutic. Um, and I always take ages to get ready for a night out, not because I need that long to get ready, but because I just enjoy it. I like taking my time. I like to, I don't know, try new things and stuff. Um, fun fact, I actually went back to college to do an evening course and I've got a level one, I think it's like a VCTC, I don't know, I've probably got that wrong, but it's a level one in makeup application, but I don't actually like touching anyone else's face but my own, so yeah. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just pop another little bit of concealer here, a lot less than before, and just blend that out again. Take this other beauty blender and this banana setting powder. Um, who is this by? Bella Pia. Basically just push that under the eye, but I wouldn't say I'm baking. I'm just sort of like pushing it into there and helping it set. The other thing that's been happening recently as well is I've had so many weird dreams. Like every single night I've had a weird dream and I'm sure it is because of everything that's going on in the world at the moment. Um, I'm then just going to put on some powder all over. So it is the Stay Matte one. As you can see, I've used it a lot. I'm taking just a big fluffy brush. I'm going to just put that all over my face. Um, then what I'm going to do is just go in and like bronze up my face a bit more. Using the NYX Matte Bronzer, um, that's in medium. And this Real Technique brush. Basically, I'm putting it where I put that that cream concealer or cream stuff, the creamy one. Then I'm just gonna do a bit of blush. So why does that look so like on there? That isn't what it looks like. If it looks like that on there, that is literally not what it looks like. It is really no, no. Why does that look so dark? Honestly, that does not look like that on my face. Anyway, we're gonna take the Pink Freesia Butanic Beauty Blush. This just bamboo blusher brush. Um, and when I put blusher on, I don't know if this is something that everyone does, but I always smile so I know that it's going right on the like apples of my cheeks and then kind of drag it back and up. And yeah, I just prefer how that looks. I think that looks not, um, like a lot nicer than just like bam, there. So that's that. And then my eyes, I'm basically not really going to do a lot. I'm just going to take the Smashbox Shape Matters. It's nothing like crazy. And you probably won't even notice a difference. But when you're doing makeup and it's for yourself, it shouldn't be about what like other people can notice. It's about how you feel and what you want. So yeah, that's basically why I'm doing it. So I've got really like quite hooded eyes. Um, so I've got like loads of space here, but it's all like hooded. Um, I did look at this thing, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically, they like laser here, um, and I'm quite tempted to get it done. I don't know, if anyone's had that done or looked into it, let me know what you think. It's not um, anything that I want to do for anyone else, it's something that I want to do for me, and it's mainly because I like to play with makeup, and it is just much harder for me to play with makeup with such like a hooded lid. Like, if it was just a little bit up more, I'd be able to do, like, a lot more. So, yeah, it's not actually for anyone else but myself. Like, I know I'm fine the way I am and I'm very happy with my eyes the way they are. But it's something that I've just thought about just for myself. Um, and that that's the thing. If you're doing something, like, for yourself, that's fine. Like, I know a lot of people are very anti-Botox, very anti-filler, very anti, like, all of those kind of things. I don't have a problem with someone doing any of those things as long as they are doing it for themselves and that they would be happy either way. Like, I don't think you're going to ever find happiness in doing something 
cosmetic like that. So I'm happy with my face without makeup. I'm happy with my face with makeup. I'm happy with my eyes as they are. I, don't, I think I'd probably be happy with them like more open or whatever, but it's not, I'm not gonna only be happy if I can have that done. You should be happy anyway, and then just want to do it for yourself because you want to do it for yourself, not because you feel you have to, you know, if that makes sense. Um, so I doubt you can see much difference, but that to me just looks a lot better. And um, so, oh, I've broken my palette. And then the final thing I'm gonna do for like my eyes is take the Icon Mini palette and then just pop the um, Prosecco color just on the lid, just to give it a little bit of a sheen. I'm then just gonna put on a bit of highlighter. I'm using at the moment the Misguided Glow Goals. I think I got it in like a like gift set thing. Um, and basically I ran out of my other highlighter, but I'm, I'm actually loving this. Um, I quite like it. I think it's really good. I'm just going to use a fan brush from Smashbox and just put that where I want it. And then for my eyebrows, so I haven't actually done those yet. See how there's no like real structure with me doing my makeup. It's just like, oh yeah, I've forgotten to do that bit. My eyebrows, I'm just going to use this Benefit um what's it called browings browsings browings i don't know anyway yeah bent meant but this little brush from primark which is amazing i've got the different ends on it so you can brush through and then you can use the other side to apply whatever you're applying is anyone else finding their brows really hard to do at the moment as well because my brows have not been sorted out by someone for so long I find them so difficult to do like they need plucking well they need like shaping but I don't want to shape them too much so I'm just kind of like plucking hairs out when I can be asked um and yeah I basically I can't I can't wait to get like my brows done my eyelashes done can't wait which I know is complete like first world girl problems but it's just what you get used to isn't it Oh, I need my brows done. I might try to do them myself. I'm just going to put some mascara on and some lashes. Also, lash glue. I always use um, Duo. You've got the clear one and I've also got the, um, like the dark toned one. If you're doing like a darker like evening look, the dark one's really good because sometimes if you put the light one on, on like a dark eye it looks really like gloopy and gross so yeah the other thing i'd say with the glues if you've got the option go for like this one and um, not this color necessarily but go for like this applicator because it's got like a thingy like an actual applicator whereas this like tube one you have to like squidge it out and it's hard to kind of apply it that is eyeballs done um, and then it's just lips. So literally lip, all I'm going to do is take a nude lip liner. This is the Rimmel London one. It is literally all come off, but it's number 50 tiramisu and I love this colour. So I'm just going to fill in my lips and then kind of like colour them in with this. Um, and because I put the lip balm underneath earlier, it's still quite moisturised. I'm literally then just going to take the lip balm again and kind of like dot it over the top. And then <laughs> my hair. Is mental. It smells good though. So my ha hair obviously naturally is very textured. And I've been trying to, during quarantine, give it like a complete break from like hot tools. Um, I washed it yesterday. So yesterday it was fine, but obviously then I have to sleep on it. And basically then the next day it does look mental and you can't really brush it because it just grows and it gets bigger and bigger. So I'm just probably gonna shove it up, to be honest. So I'm gonna start, do something with my hair, get dressed and then I'll come back. I look like an egg. I've just scraped my hair back. Um, and then I've actually put like some oil in it because I, when I brushed it, loads was falling out, um, which is fine. That's what it's doing at the moment. But I thought if I put like a bit of a treatment on it, 
and leave that in hopefully that will help restore it but yeah i've literally just tied it up back there in a little bun and just scraped the rest of it back put on my favorite jumper at the moment i've literally worn this so much while being in lockdown and um put my glasses back on so i can see yeah so if you wanted to see how i did my makeup that is it like I'm just take my glasses off but this is kind of what i would do just like standard makeup so also this how long have i been recording i've been recording for an hour if i actually just cracked on and got on with my makeup it can take me like 20 minutes um it really doesn't take that long thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye oh, what? shit oh i shouldn't really swear <laughs>